Hey traders, Adam Delgado, Market Insights Commentator at Globeprime. In today's video, we're going to be looking at a concept that I touched on a while ago last year. And we're talking about the uh, Fibonacci uh, extension or what I would call 100% uh, Fibonacci projection or a one-to-one -one target projection. Uh, the name doesn't really matter. What uh, is important here is that you understand uh, the vital importance of getting this concept right because it's going to help you massively uh, in order to pinpoint areas in the chart where you're most likely going to see uh, a reversal of sorts okay so I'm gonna be walking you through a few examples we're gonna be uh, going through the charts of the euro dollar the dollar Japanese yen the dollar Canadian just to show you a few examples of uh, you know how accurate it can be and it really boils down to be uh, more precise with uh, those points in the chart where either you're looking to take profits, you're looking for a mean reversal, or you're kind of just expecting some type of reaction, right? Uh, the savvy investors out there, sorry, the savvy traders out there, the smart money, those that are uh, pretty good at taking profits off the table or are looking for uh, very uh, pristine areas to engage for buy or sell side activity, they are definitely going to be paying an awful lot of attention to this type of areas, and uh, you know, let's just call it the 100% projection target. Okay, in this uh, in this video, and uh, what I'm basically uh, and allow me to articulate, elaborate a little bit further. Um, one of the key stages whenever you're going to be trading the market is not so much about what's going to be the setup that is going to lead you to enter the market but also hey when do you think that the market is reaching a climatic state where on whatever time frame you're using there's going to be some type of reversal back to the mean you know there's going to be a retracement and obviously you don't want to let those you know hard earned profits uh, on the table you want to take advantage of that move and cash in partially or totally your profits right so uh, and obviously that leads to certain disappointing outcomes right whenever you are unable to accurately uh, predict or anticipate where these areas in the chart are going to uh, you know are going to be uh, are going to be at then you can uh, obviously have a uh, you know it, you're going to be faced with pitfalls and you're going to be continuously uh, being you know unable to set these logical targets you know by um, by just kind of like failing to respect the market uh, symmetries and this is at the core of uh, this explanation in today's video it's all about finding symmetries finding that market rhythm based on cycles based on structures okay so what you see right in front of uh, you here is the euro against the US dollar and what we can be looking at right now is uh, let's just for simulation purposes going to be running through uh, the last uh, 10 days of price action or you know more or less so we're going to be starting from this spike right here okay this i believe what this the spike on the back of uh, the uh, surprisingly dovish fomc uh two weeks ago and um actually before we're gonna get into the example allow me to just uh you know show a little bit of a theory of what we are really looking for and this is going to sound uh, you know absurdly simple but it is sometimes in that simplicity of uh, these symmetries that uh, resides the, the magic and uh, the value so we're going to be looking for two particular patterns when it comes to the one to calculating the 100 percent projection targets number one is whenever we see a balance area that means that we are having a consolidation consolidation pattern then we're looking for a breakout of this consolidation pattern and then just basically anticipate a measured move that is going to be the same distance as the balance area that we had the price confined into prior to the breakout okay so I've drawn here a couple of uh, rectangles so imagine this is the uh, balance area so obviously if we are looking for a move that is uh, predicated on the fact that it's going to be the same distance then that right there uh, right 
there that would be our target now the second move or the second pattern that we're going to be paying attention to in the charts is whenever we have a swing and we don't need to have a, a balance area or consolidation here but rather we just need to form a leg lower and then a leg higher that is breaking through a breakout point so this is what we are going to be calling the breakout point or the swing the prior swing high and the extension is going to be measured from the prior swing low through the breakout point so if this is the distance from the breakout point uh, down to the prior swing low then the target is going to be the same distance so something like this so that right there is going to be our target so those these are the areas and allow me to color this in red and I'm going to also color this in red. So these are the areas where we're going to be expecting some type of reaction by market makers, by those players that are looking to be contains and, and uh, taking the other side of the trade, etc. Remember, at the end of the day, a market maker has an incentive to participate in the forex market and that incentive is going to be uh, you know the, the dealing spread right and that that's what represents the primary means by which uh, forex market makers will be uh, you know making money in exchange for uh, providing this liquidity to to the forex market okay and uh, also it is the way in which the professional dealers are also being compensated for for making prices so these are areas where the market makers are going to be concentrated and we're going to have this cluster of uh, bids and offers of bids and offers okay so be be aware of that okay so without further ado let's get into let's get into the charts and uh, this is the euro dollar and right off the bat what you can notice is that we had a very strong spike on the back of the FOMC but notice how we starting to form what I mentioned here to be a swing so this kind of like swing pattern so the first swing pattern we have it here we make a low then we recover we never make it back to the prior swing high and then we break through so what we can do here I, I've already drawn quite a few of this but uh, I'm just gonna be uh, I'm just going to be uh, moving them around a little bit so you notice here. So, I, as I said, we're going to be grabbing the uh, Fibonacci tool, the Fibonacci retracement. I mean, and what you're going to do here in Trading View is the following before I get any further. Um, you want to be double clicking here and then you want to be selecting 0, 0 0.5, and 1. So, that would be your all the numbers, all the uh, measures you need to really get to calculate these areas. So, the first one is going to be. Uh, one point uh, let me see that 1.1388 okay so that's where we're expecting the first uh, price measure the first 100% projection target to stop and notice how for about four to five hours we do see a reaction where price is actually finding a little bit of a balance before we break out and this is super important as something that I haven't really uh, mentioned in this uh, theory so here is uh, here's the thing whenever you actually see that as part of let, let me just go back to the black color whenever you see that as part of this uh, swing high swing low and then sorry swing high and then swing low we are breaking lower whenever you see that we have a little bit of a balance area and then we break through and this was supposed to be our 100 percent projection in an awful lot of cases you're going to see the market retesting this area and then continuing the trend okay so these are going to be the areas allow me to highlight this in uh, allow me to highlight this a second okay so these are the areas i'm going to select now the rectangle where price is going to be reacting in the most cases with the most accuracy okay so back to the chart you can see how this is an area that definitely acts as that 100 percent projection where this market makers this uh, profit taking all this is going to be occurring around these areas and we break through and the retest it is precisely at that level at that 100 percent projection that the price is being rejected and then we sell out from there now let's apply the exact same concept we are going to be grabbing the fibonacci retracement this is the fibonacci retracement and we're going to be drawing the uh, measure move from the prior swing high through the breakout point and this is the area where we find 
precisely the same reaction in prices. We have a rebound that is worth about, uh, you know, 15 pips, uh, 10 to 15 pips. Remember that this was on the back of uh, a massive uh, miss on the German PMI. Obviously, this led to a lot of concerns about the European Union and Germany, uh, you know, falling into recession, uh, heading into Q2. So uh, we then uh, so follow through. And what's important is what I just mentioned. Whenever we see these areas being broken, they are going to be in the majority of cases acting as an area of reference for us whenever these prices are revisited. And what you notice here is the following. I'm gonna be grabbing this, the, the pane, and notice here we uh, bounce off the 100% projection. When we break through again, we bounce off the 100% projection. So again, even though because of the fundamental led uh, nature of these moves we broke through we had that initial reaction of these 100 percent projections and even though we saw that follow through the area was being respected as uh, as a guidance for traders for sellers to re-engage in this market okay so the same we can apply uh, in as we move forward so what we're going to be doing is uh, we're going to be grabbing again the Fibonacci retracement. This is the Fibonacci retracement right here. And we are going to be uh, taking as a reference the prior swing high through the breakout point. So this is going to be our breakout point, the prior swing, swing, uh, swing low. And the price sells off. And where we stop, notice, is right here the 100% projection. And this leads to about uh, this leads to a move that is about let me just see about 25 to 30 pips okay so again uh, you wouldn't you wouldn't be ruling out a, a position uh, if uh, you were to be told as an intraday trader hey the potential is 25 to 30 pips right okay now the next move that is interesting to to take note of is the following we had a swing high we had a swing low, so obviously what we can do is draw through the breakout point where is going to be the projected, the projected target. And the projected target is at 1.1215. Where has the euro dollar been consolidating and finding that bottom of the range for the last, um, for the last two days? right at the 100 projection level. That's where we've seen multiple rebounds, uh, rebounds originating from, okay? And where have we, have we seen the, um, the, uh, the levels being rejected? Well, through this area of resistance, 1.124550, which happens to be a horizontal level, uh, not so much a projected, a projected level, but you get the idea it is very accurate either acting as a read as a backside or retest level or as a turn as a turnaround of uh, prices as a kind of like uh, reversal to the mean uh, um, uh, movement now uh, the euro dollar is now uh, on a um, resumption of the bearish trend and most likely because now we are allowed to uh, draw yet again another 100 percent projection remember we're going to be drawing it through the latest peak through the breakup point and this right here 1.148483 that's going to be our next target our next destination where the prices are likely to come to a temporary uh, stop a, a temporary uh, you know uh, stalling of uh, of this down move and the more confluence that you can find in this uh, prices all the better and notice there is a green horizontal line well this green horizontal line happens to coincide with the year lows in the euro against the us dollar therefore it is only going to reinforce the notion that we are expected to see the termination of this move around this area okay so that's on the euro against the us dollar Another market that I want to be paying attention is the dollar against the Japanese yen. And we can really start um, measuring these moves 
right from the FOMC once again. So the FOMC led to this major sell-off, okay? Now, the major sell-off broke through like hot, uh, like a knife through hot butter, really, and uh, we never kind of uh, understood whether or not immediately after the event this would be an area that would be that would be acting as uh, you know re as as reliable uh, well that that would not be the case until we have a back test of the level remember whenever this area gets broken most likely is a market that is communicating and uh, market makers and uh, dealers are basically just removing their their bids they are not comfortable getting involved in a market that is just so you know it's moving so abruptly because it's been uh, under such a distress based on the surprise of the FOMC so you will notice that uh, a lot of uh, a lot of times whenever you see this elongated move this is not just going to be based on a supply imbalance meaning there's an awful lot of uh, the participants just selling the market but also it has a lot to do not only with the sellers but also with the absence of buyers for about a minute or so before the algos the algos take over you're going to see that the liquidity to the downside is just gone does it disappears and that's the next destination where uh, the the next uh, run of the participants are going to be willing to uh, you know uh, take action and uh, provide this uh, much needed liquidity for the prices to come to some some type of um, pause okay now what i want to point out is the following we don't respect this 100 percent projection which is very risky to be using this projection levels whenever we have a major surprise as it was the FOMC so you can throw these levels off the window if the market is going to be under some type of shock but after that technicals take over once again and proof of that is that the back test right at that level the 100 percent is where we act right at that level 100 percent is where we're acting and after that that's where we act so again 100 percent projection even though it sounds like a random number 110.16.69 uh, you know it's not a round number it's not uh, apparently a fibonacci retracement of source but it's the 100 percent projection so again it's going to be massively important for you to monitor now the next one uh, is this swing high this breakout point so obviously i've already grabbed this 100 percent projection and one question that I've often been asked over the years is, do you want to draw this 100% projection taking into account the, uh, the weeks or without the weeks? And it's not a exact science, but it's more about finding the levels that have been uh, the market has been interacting the most. So in this case, I wouldn't actually grab this uh, prior swing high just because we only have one single interaction instead i'd like to take into consideration this 110.86 right here because that's the area where the price has been reacting the most so to me that communicates that the market is going to be uh, you know it's going to zero in into this uh, into this level more than uh, you know one that we can find is uh, you know about 10 pips above okay it's not as relevant as one that has been touched multiple times okay so the moment that i draw this area uh, so at the moment that i draw this uh, fibonacci projection where do we line again at the 100 projection and that is yet again another uh, you know, supposedly, obviously, you didn't have this uh, concept uh, well understood. This would be supposedly another random number, 109.725. Well, it happens to be the area where, to the pip, we find re a reversal back to the mean, okay? The area has been tested three times, and every single time, and remember that you don't have to be exact to the very uh, to the very peak, but you know, take a pragmatic approach. Uh, to an area, take an area of about you know five to ten pips. So that should be the area where you're expecting that reaction. So about you know something like that. Okay, so we can color this in. Uh, magenta or purple this color in purple so this is where you should be expecting the next 
uh, the next uh, target target being reached and a reassessment reevaluation. If we see a breakthrough, then this would be, this would have been an area where most likely the market is going to be reacting. Next, we are seeing yet again another. Well, in this case, this is a balance area consolidation. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be uh, joining. The, um, the Fibonacci from the bottom through the breakout point and notice that it was two times rejected so I am comfortable taking this as my Fibonacci retracement as my Fibonacci projection uh, breakout point that's the 100% projection what do we see again it's almost to the peep that we are seeing the reversal back to the mean this is an area where, where I'm not feeling very comfortable because it's it's getting very choppy. You obviously sk still can can draw the 100% projection, and you will notice that it gets really really close uh, before the market reverses once again. So that was a 100% projection right there. Okay, I just don't want the chart to get too messy, to be honest. But uh, you know, I guess. I've already drawn enough, so might as well just draw that one. Okay, so the next um, the next clear pattern, this is the balance area consolidation. Okay, so I wanna be grabbing this one and I'm gonna be taking as reference the bottom of the range and I'm gonna be drawing it through, not the wicks, remember, not the wicks. Uh, at times it might make more sense, but in this case, because we had so many closes through this level, that's where I want to be drawing. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be paying most of my attention. And again, what we're going to be doing is uh, we're going to be grabbing the rectangle, and that's the 100% projection. Remember, these are the black circles. That's where the 100% projection um, happens to be in in the chart. Okay, so that's where uh, the market turns around from. And dollar Japanese yen, yesterday we saw a very strong US PMI and the market came uh, to the realization that, hey, perhaps things are not as bad as we would ex be ex uh, as we were expecting, even though we've seen recently the inversion of the US yield curve. So the market took off and uh, again, I've already drawn the 100% projection, but you can see here that rather than the week, I really wanna be paying attention to this uh, level that I draw through the breakout point and if that is the case somewhere around there that's our 100 percent projection level and again confluence level it's all about confluence as well so notice this was the or origin of the fomc uh, induced sell-off and that's where we are uh, you know retrace pulling back from okay so hopefully these are practical examples that can help you to understand how important this is. And I've already drawn uh, a very last market and we're looking here at the dollar against the, the Canadian, okay? So here right off the bat, you can notice that it, this one, this is an area where you can obviously consider it to be a consolidation of sorts, sorry, no, that's not a consolidation. That is just a swing. So I was just referring to this one. So you see the push high, and then we see the retracement, and then the market breaking higher. 100% projection, remember? 100% projection through the breakout point. So allow me just to highlight. That's the breakout point. 100% projection is right there. So I'm gonna grab the rectangle again and we're gonna be drawing the 100% projection. And again, after two, mul uh, two uh, failed attempts to break lower, we correct. Uh, so to break higher, we correct to the downside, all right? Now, the next one, you could obviously take this one as a reference. And the 100% projection happens to be around the same level. That's the breakout point. That's the bottom. So you make that 100% projection the same distance as per the bottom through the breakout point, and that's where we're struggling. And then we are breaking lower, and the, and we had this kind of like yes, this is definitely a consolidation area. So this was an area that where the price consolidated. So we are now allowed to draw a 100% projection once again 
and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be removing this one so we can uh, get it a little bit uh, uh, more neat and all right so this is the 100% projection that I'm um, uh, using right now so from there the market right there I'm going to be adjusting it through the breakout point right there I'm going to be highlighting the area that should be where market makers and uh, shorts are taking profit which is obviously going to be causing this uh, you know temporary buying pressure and uh, again we are rebounding we are finding uh, about 20 to 25 pips opportunities at times and now we've broken lower right that, that's on the back of yesterday's USIM uh, ISM uh, PMI and uh, it was kind of like a counter counterintuitive move because you know one would have expected the DXY which it was the case to strengthen and as a consequence the door against the Canadian to also strengthen well it didn't happen uh, and um, remember that uh, the Canadian uh, GDP last Friday came really really strong and that has kind of shaken the grounds a little bit on the perception towards the Canadian now it might be the case that the Bank of Canada might not be as uh, dovish as uh, some might have expected so again what we can do is just grab this 100% projection and from this level uh, through the breakout point that's that's our area that's where we are expecting the market now to be bought and potentially to retest this prior area of um, of support now turn resistance okay so hopefully i've gone through enough examples for you to realize that this is a concept that is very powerful and um, again for for me and uh, the intention here is that you can get to be more precise on either how you enter the market and the confluences that you're able to find how you can actually be more ac uh, how you can actually be more precise more accurate taking profits of the table and really understanding where is it that these dealers these market makers are going to be getting their um, you know their their uh, positions into into the market it's, it's obviously going to be at uh, fairly advantageous uh, prices based on the over uh, stretch nature of of the moves and um, yeah, I really want to emphasize that uh, what this unveils is uh, is a technique that is fairly overlooked, you know. Yet it's very powerful. It's a very powerful tool for you to to really be able to pinpoint areas in the chart that are going to be like super super important. And um, uh, this is a tool that, as I said, uh, is in the majority of cases is going to be only used for uh, retracements and uh, people just kind of talks an awful lot about the 38.2, the 50, 61.8, uh, 76.8, uh, 76 etc. But uh, it has other purposes. It can serve very well the purposes of uh, getting these pristine areas in the chart, okay? So hopefully this is a this is a um, video that uh, you know can help you to uh, strengthen uh, your knowledge of the markets and brings home and, and you can take home this powerful lesson okay and um, as I said hopefully I have provided enough examples for you to be uh, aware of its importance we've gone through uh, dollar Japanese yen at least uh, 10 different um, uh, you know different targets same has been uh, done on the euro dollar and on the dollar against the Canadian again okay it's been uh, it's been uh, proven to be pretty accurate um, as, a, as a caveat remember when we have uh, fundamental surprises in the market take it with a you know with a pinch of salt this these areas can be broken very easily if not then definitely pay a lot of attention okay and uh, I've proven that uh, you know it could be a just random number but obviously if you know that behind it happens to be a 100% projection there's an awful lot of value uh, that you can find in this um, in these levels okay 
Right, so uh, if you enjoyed these videos, I always uh, suggest that you know hit the, the like button, um, share some comments and uh, join us in our Discord room. I'm talking about you know valuable concepts when it comes to trading day in and day out in our Discord room. You got the link down below. We still have a few limited number of uh, spots that are you know up for grabs. So if you click the link, you can join us free. Uh, there's no charge whatsoever, so you can just be part of our community. And uh, until tomorrow, uh, it's bye for me with more videos. Thanks.